everybody, it's Sharon from Accidental Art Maker. <laughs> haven't been, haven't done any lives in a long time. Gosh, well, probably like two weeks, but that seems like forever for me. Um, both my teens had COVID at the same time, right after one of them graduated from high school and the other one finished up his summer school. So it's just been a little bit hectic around here. <laughs> um, so I'm getting back into my art jamming and um, I've been working on this tray and I'm doing a barnyard plank. Um, not like an actual exercise, but the stamp. So I thought it would be fun just to pop on here, connect with everybody for a few minutes, say hello, let you all know I'm still around, and um, put this stamp on this tray that I'm working on. You may recognize it from earlier shows. Um, I'll be doing a big reveal later on. After I put the barnyard stamp on, I'm going to let it dry, I put a coat of liquid patina on it, and then I'm going to do a transfer on top of it. And the transfer, maybe you can guess what it is, will look very good on barnyard planks. So that said, I'm going to point the camera down. Please ignore the fact that my clothes do not match. <laughs> okay, so barnyard plank. Um, it's, uh, I've used it to obviously create um, a wood look and feel. Um, I made an actual bar, I call it the butterfly barn yet last year, butterfly barn. And I used barn red paint and I used the stamps on top and I made this awesome uh, barn look to it. Today I just want like a wood background. This tray that you see underneath here started off as um, glass. So, there's something special on the other side of it. Um, that if you watch some of my other lives, you may know what's there, but I'm gonna, I plan on doing kind of like a fun reveal later on. So if you haven't done the barnyard planks before, I am so happy I get to introduce you to it. So um, I've cut, I, I took the two page stamp and I cut it into just big pieces right here. So the way that you approach using this stamp, at least this is what I, I have done, is um, you want it to look real, right? Like you want it to look organic and not just kind of like parallel repeating patterns. So, um, so when you look at these big pieces, like I wouldn't do this and have these end right here. I, what you'll see me do is I'm gonna be staggering these big pieces out and overlapping a little bit. And then um, just, uh, and then like something like this, right? So that the wood's not breaking right here in the middle. Um, and it's, this is just a lot of fun to do. To, uh, come in here and make all your little pieces of wood look like it's a wood plank. So here I'm gonna go. Um, I don't know if you can tell what color this is in the background. It's kind of like this light taupe, dark cream, like if you were, if you had a coffee milkshake or something like that, it's about, it's about the, that color. Um, and underneath it is white paint. So I sanded back a little bit. So it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if you're able to tell on the camera, um, but it already has, kind of um, some color white popping through. So we'll see how that plays with this together. I am gonna start, actually I think I'm probably gonna start like out just a little bit. I'm gonna move this so you guys can see it. Um, and uh, I'm going to show you all how to do this. It's okay if I get a little bit of paint um, on the back here. I can just wipe it up with um, a wipey, wherever they may be. <laughs> All right, so I've got some white paint here in my 
little bottle that and I've got um, my roller right here and I'm going to get my baby wipes in case I need them all right so here's my first stamp lots of texture right here my paint is a little bit watered down so we'll see how that looks um and I'll offload just a little bit right here. All right, so you roll it across like this. And if you're watching, let me know uh, and on the replay or if you're watching right now live, let me know where you guys are watching from. Say hi, don't be shy. All right, so flip it over and like with the other stamps, lay it down, commit. I'm gonna hold it down with one hand. Oops, I can't press too hard. I should remember that because this is glass underneath. And it will pop right out and break. <laughs> so um, I usually, I'm used to pressing really hard as you probably know. And uh, if you've done stamps yourself. And look at that, it's a little bit of a wood grain. All right, and now I'm going to um pull up another wood grain it's probably really hard for you guys to see if it's right in here i'll hold it up and i'm all done now i'm going to do this side right here usually like i said i am a little bit more careful when i'm i wouldn't normally be rolling paint on this surface, I'm going to stamp, but I know I can get away with a few smudges here. All right. And I do want a really light white background because I'm gonna be putting a transfer on top of this. So light and uh, light in the background looks great. I'm gonna use this side over here. I'm gonna come on in. A little bit of wood there. I do not want the stamp to be dominant because it's the background for my, my next step would be the transfer. Okay, so it's probably hard to tell right here, but I've got three little sections of wood. I'm going to come in now and then try to stir pattern. A little bit more paint on my paint. Right here. Okay. If you've used the barn or plank before, let me know what you've done with it, what you used it for. I've seen people use it actually on top of uh, tables to pull up, to make a farmyard type of table. Put this. Right here. That's a nice big piece right there. And then for this piece of wood right here, I'm gonna come in with this. You'll see. You'll see when it's all done, it's gonna look like a beautiful. Whoops, there's that little smudge. I told you that would happen. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see, it comes right up. All right. I'm going to line this up right here. I might need to do this one again. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna give a little bit down here and a little bit right there. Okay, now I've got this little piece over here that needs some wood.
see how flexible the stamp is. I'm able to like bend it right up to this spot right here. Look at that. Lots of pain. But like I said, let me wind up. That is two. All right. I don't know if you guys can even see. Can you guys see the wood pattern okay? I'm getting there. Okay, I'm gonna do one more row on top and then I'm gonna come back in and put dividers in that will help segment it out a little bit. Okay. Have you guys seen these FIFO? I think that's how you pronounce it. FIFO bottles before you put your talking in there and squeeze it out. It helps preserve it quite a bit. Your paint so it doesn't get all dry in the can. And it's a lot less messy as well. Anything to make life less messy is welcome. All right, I'm gonna put this one down here because I want kind of like a distinct border going across here. All right, that's awesome. Uh, a little bit of wood texture up here, and right here in the middle. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit right there where it looks like it could use a little bit. All right. And let's get this one again. How is everybody's Fourth of July weekend? That's when I'm doing this. It's my Saturday before the 4th. And I'm just taking it easy at home. All right, let's stamp right here. And we'll do this one right here. No side. It would be really horrible if you guys could not see the the white on the 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 white that I'm trying to create here. So let me know if I need to hold it up to the camera a bit more. Okay, so now I've got most of my background. I do have this one strip right here I have as well. It's not put this up here on top. And then I'm gonna come in here. I do want, all right. So now's where some of the fun starts. So I've got these knots, they're like wood knots. And I've got the sections right here that make it look like the wood is segmented. So I'm gonna do these off to the side with my plate off to the side over here. I'm gonna start with this. You see that right down there? Okay. And I don't need the nail holes every single time. There's like just a very subtle little suggestion of a line there and that is good for me. I don't want every single uh, one of these section pieces looking identical because people spot those patterns. All right, the other one was right about here. And 
can come up in here. That's a nice little one. And I need one here. I need one here. Okay, and now we're going to put in a little bit of a knot in the wood right up in here. Beautiful. We're going to do another knot. Here. And I think, I think this is pretty good for what I need. I want to mind that a little bit more distinct right there. I think there's some holes right there. And I, this is not looking textured enough to me. So I'm going to come back in with this thing here. One the bottom. Okay, right there. Awesome. Well, that's it. It's a quick demo. Um, it's probably hard to see, uh, which is what I want. <laughs> so probably not the best use of your time. I'm sorry if you guys can't see this, but it does look really pretty. It's going to be a nice background for my next step, which is a transfer. And I'll be sharing that later on today too. I'm after this dries. So um, that's it. Thank you so much. Have a great fourth. I'll probably be popping on off and on this weekend because I have a lot of um, things to finish up and a lot of things to get started. Talk to you all later.